morning, Valley family. You're watching the first edition of Valley News for the spring 2013 semester. Valley News is a weekly feature presented by the Cardinal Broadcasting Network. I'm Jennifer Hannigan, the Public Information Officer here at TVCC, and it's great to be back. I hope everyone had a restful break and is ready to have a good spring semester. Speaking of spring, if you want something to look forward to, we have about 45 days till the start of spring break. Give or take a day, depending on how you measure it, it will be here before you know it. Since it's the start of the year and a semester, I thought it'd be a good day to cover some new student information that can be important. But if you're a returner, stick around anyway, because there are a couple of days at the end that are important that I will talk about during our broadcast. If you're new here at the Valley, we're so glad to have you here. The first couple of weeks of class can be an adjustment, so if you have a question about anything, don't hesitate to ask. Our faculty and staff are here to help you. Remember, your instructors are best reached by email or by phone. If you're looking to reach an instructor but don't have their contact information, our complete staff directory is available online on the main page of our website. Click on the Faculty and Staff tab at the top, go to Directory. We offer a fully searchable database that's very easy to use. I have to use that particular function of our website pretty often, so I can tell you it also works just fine from a smartphone. So if you're on the road and need a number, you can access it from anywhere. You can also search by department. So if you need the number to the bookstore or financial aid, it can be found there as well. The first couple days of the semester were interesting around here as we dealt with weather issues on some of our campuses. It's winter in Texas, which means there's a possibility of little bits of winter weather through the next couple of months. And as we heard from students through the day last week, it became pretty clear that the roads were just fine in some areas and pretty treacherous in others. The Athens campus, for example, and the surrounding area were not bad for the most part. However, conditions around the Terrell campus were definitely bad enough to warrant class cancellations. If there's a class delay, it's always posted on the main page of our website, on our Facebook page, and on two of our Twitter accounts. However, there is also a way to make sure you receive up-to-the-minute information as delays and cancellations occur. It's called the TVCC Alert System, and there's a link on the main page of our website where you can sign up for text messages. Just enter the phone number, click on the campuses you would like to be informed about, and you're signed up. There's even the option to sign up more than one telephone number so you can keep your parents and spouses infor informed too. Just a note about severe weather. In some areas, things were okay, in other areas, they weren't. So please, always use caution and common sense for your location when determining whether or not things are too treacherous to make your way to class. I mentioned our Facebook and Twitter accounts. They're a great way to keep up with the latest here at the Valley, but they're also really good resources if you have questions about classes, scholarships, financial aid, or any other aspect of life here at TVCC. We regularly get questions on a variety of subjects. You can find us at Facebook.com slash Trinity Valley Community College. On Twitter, you can find us at TVCC News. And we also have a sports Twitter account at TVCC Sports, where you can keep up with all of the latest that's going on with the Cardinals and the Lady Cardinals. If you're new here, or you're just looking to find new friends, Student Activities is definitely a good place to start. The office is located on the bottom floor of the sub, and if you haven't stopped by yet, it's a wonderful place to find information, some new people to connect with. There's also a pretty comfy couch, and usually candy. Student Activities also offers events for students at night. Coming up on January 24th, there will be a karaoke evening at 7 p.m. in the sub. On the 31st of January, there will be a poker night, also at 7 p.m. in the sub. Most of their activities are free. Occasionally, there's a small cost for some things, but it's a great way to get to know people and have something to do in the evenings. Student Activities is also responsible for managing the Student Government Association, so if you're interested in student government, that's where you go. On to a little bookkeeping information for students, both new and returning. If you were Pell eligible this semester and you're expecting a disbursement check, the date for that is coming up in about three weeks. If you've signed up for direct deposit, those funds are scheduled to be delivered on February 7th. Check pickup date here on campus is set for February 8th. I know that's still a few weeks out, but I've already gotten a few questions from students, so I wanted to let everyone know that that was coming up. Also, if you're graduating this May, the last day to apply for graduation is February 8th as well. So be sure to make sure you complete that process if you're expecting to walk at the end of this semester. I think that's all for this week's edition of Valley News. As always, for more on what's happening each week around the Valley, check out the news section at the bottom of our homepage or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for joining us for another week of Valley News. I'm Jennifer Hannigan. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next week.